Hello, Internet. This is Owen from What I'm Listening To, here once again for yet another episode of Quickies. And this time, I am not in a hurry. So, uh, to start things off, I have uh, the Ritalin Kids, Hurry Up and Wait. Now, this is an album I uh, am actually pretty excited I found. So, uh, the Ritalin Kids is an obscure pop punk band that I've known about since I was like 15 or 16. And uh, I discovered them because they do a cover of R.E.M.'s song, It's the End of the World as We Know It. Um, so naturally, you know, hearing that cover, I wanted to hear more, and I came across this album, but I didn't actually listen to any of it. I think I listened to the song uh, Pick Up the Pieces, which I really liked, and then eventually I uh, listened to their song uh, Stop the World, which I already have, but uh, this album I did not expect to find in our clearance section, so I thought, well, for a buck, uh, I'll rent it and I'll listen to it and get nostalgic, and then maybe... I'll end up picking it up. We'll see. But um, this cover is ridiculous. Nothing says pop punk like a uh, girl in a school uniform kicking a dude in the nuts. You know, very 2000s. Uh, inside, it looks like we have a little bit similar looking artwork. Oh, yes. Delivering a pizza. Nurse attire. Yeah, this is just pop punk central. And it looks like each dude is... Uh, that's. The band members there. Is there anything else? No, nope, just all that. And then uh, anything under the disc here? Nope. Well, kind of, just a design there. Yeah, so uh, this one should be an interesting listen. Um, this case has seen better days, but you know what? It's in the clearance section for a reason. Staying on the topic of the clearance section, next up I have a uh, the Rapture's Echoes. Now, The Rapture is a band I've also known about for a while. They have a song in the uh, Grand Theft Auto soundtrack called No Sex for Ben, which is a really, really, really cool alternative rock, alternative dance song. Um, and I'm actually reading a book called uh, Get In... The, I think it's called, what is it? Uh, Meet Me in the Bathroom, which is essentially a book profiling all the... Uh, the New York bands that came around in the early 2000s, bands like the Yeah Yeah Yeahs, the Strokes, Death From Above, all those guys, and um, the Rapture was one of those bands. Um, apart from that No Sex For Ben song, I've actually never listened to anything else by the group, so I thought I will check them out because I stumbled across this in the clearance section, and um, hopefully it's as good as the song I know. I love the artwork of this. Um, the color scheme looks really cool. The photography looks really cool. Booklets, let's see what's inside. Yeah, look at that. Just whoever was in charge of their art on this did a killer, killer job. And I think this album, I'll have to check. Oh, no, it doesn't look like it is. Um, oh wait, maybe. Yeah, I can't tell. This might have been put out by uh, DFA Records, aka Death From Above Records, um, a label that obviously comes from the band Death From Above, but has also put out a ton of great New York bands over the years. So uh, yeah, this one should be a really fun listen. Yet another something from the clearance section. Did not expect to find this one either. Uh, this is a band called Astronoid, and this is their album, Air. Uh, I've kind of gone back and forth between this album. Um, I'm really fascinated by it because it's this weird blend of black metal, uh, progressive rock, uh, space rock, and uh, I guess pop in a weird way. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the Devin Townsend project, just very like, it's heavy, but it's also got amazing harmonies, and it's kind of like, uh, like kind of nice sounding. Um, nothing that you would expect in a black metal album. Um, but every time I've listened to it, I've been just kind of eh about it. And I think what it is is because I want it to sound more black metal or black gaze than it actually is. So uh, I found this today, 
and I am going to give it another chance. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't have completely high hopes, but you know, opinions change, especially if I don't listen to something for an extended period of time. Um, but yeah, I, I want to like these guys. I really do because everything they incorporate in their music is stuff I enjoy, but you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So this one should be interesting to listen to. Okay. And then moving right along, something not from the clearance section, uh, a wild card here. So I talked about in the last quickies, uh, our dark arts section, um, which is just full of like neo folk and Gothic and just basically music. That's just, well, dark. Um, and I'm a, really fascinated by that because there's just tons and tons of stuff that I've never heard of. It's kind of like how I was when I first discovered the experimental section. There's just a lot of stuff I don't know, a lot of stuff with cool covers and CDRs and whatever, and I just figured I'll pick something at random and I'll check it out. Um, and um, this one, I liked the cover first and foremost, but... I think really what got me to rent it is on the back here, it says music for summoning ghosts in the dead of night. So <laughs> this could be really good or really bad. I have no idea what to expect. In the shadows, you are followed by ghosts. Uh, it is put out by a label called Students of Decay, which is a pretty great label. Uh, they've put out some cool experimental records that I've heard before. Uh, just popping this open, We'll see what we have inside. Oh, it's it, it's really tightly in there. Oh, geez. I'm just going to try not to damage the, uh, the sleeve here. Here we go. Okay, so then let's see what we got. So it looks like it's just... There's really not much to it. It's just a standard cardboard sleeve. There's the disc. This might even be like a CDR. Yeah, this might even just be a CDR. Yeah, uh... I'm excited to check this out. Uh, this could be stuff to put on uh, if I want to summon a ghost or uh, just need something to spook me. And then finally, we have something from the world section. This is a band called Witch, and this is their album Introduction. So I have actually never heard of this band up until now, but my coworker put this on uh, in the store and I was really surprised by it. They are uh, an African psychedelic funk rock band. Um, I think the cover looks incredibly cool. And um, yeah, I, I just have been blown away by all the stuff in our world section. This is not something I expected to uh, hear about or find in there, but uh, yeah, good stuff on here killer photograph there i'll have to look more into this band because i just don't know anything about them but uh stuff on here was really really groovy cool so uh that about does it for this edition of quickies once again thanks for watching and i'll catch you all in the next one